Despite the catastrophic death toll it has inflicted, Israel is losing on the ground and in the court of public opinion. There's no way that this ends that doesn't leave Israel a pariah state with occupation and apartheid on borrowed time, and they know it. So they're doing everything they can. Desperate acts of aggression to provoke a wider conflict with Lebanon, with Iran, with anybody to draw in the US, to save them from the consequences of their own actions. And as Yemen shows, Butcher Biden is reporting for duty. With Butcher Europe's Biden. proud genocide by his side, they are the ones who have enabled the continuation of Israeli terror. Without them, it would already be over. So take note, Butcher Biden. The ancestors of the Ireland that you claim to be from disown you. Keep our country out of your mouth. And as for von der Leyen and genocidal Germany with your words and deeds supporting Israel in the ICJ, not in our name. The people of Europe stand with Palestine and with South Africa. My bad. Yeah, yeah we don't have to spend much time talking about it. I mean, oh, no, go for it. There's not a lot to add, honestly, other than what she articulates here. But I just thought this was great. Um, directly calling out President Biden and specifically bringing up his Irish descent, something that he likes to you know, brag about. You'll remember that one video of him like showing up in Dublin to like the what was it? The Dropkick Murphys or whatever the fuck with the, the Irish oh, music. Yeah, dude. Yes, dude, he was. He did do the Dropkick Murphys. It was. Oh, dude, that was a dark branded moment. <laughs> the only time he's been dark branded in my eyes. Dude. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I remember the time I was like, he should he should lean into this. Uh, like he should. Really I'm a sailor it. peg and I lost <laughs> my leg climbing up the top sails. I lost my leg. Honestly, it, if it would have been lose, you know, more apt to choose a song about losing his mind, could have gone for the Pixies, <laughs> but maybe that wasn't in his vocal range. <laughs> no, watch the Bossum John Stewart thing. It's short uh benjamin i'm sorry but i can't i can't be extorted i can't be extorted uh you know unless you really make it hard for me make it hard for us no i'm kidding sorry ben maybe we'll get to it maybe we'll hold out hope for you benjamin but right now we've got to get to this clip because gavin put it in our bookmark folder and i almost fucked it off yeah and we can't go for literally four hours pedro because i have to go meet this dude uh from facebook marketplace to buy a used nintendo wii later so Oh well, <laughs> if you pay more than thirty dollars for that Wii, Gavin, you better just kick the dude in the nuts. You better just kick the dude in the nuts, and then steal his Wii. Because no, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. How no, much is he charging to, you for that Wii? Only Gavin? fifty. Let the people only fifty, but it has it has like all the controllers and chargers and everything. Like it's not just the literal console. So I think it's worth it. It's like half the price of what they sell at places like Vintage Stock, the aforementioned Vintage Stock. So I think it's a decent deal. That's interesting. Shout out to you, Gavin. Getting that we <laughs> and shout out to uh, Daddy Warbucks. We're sad. We're cheap, but we're not that cheap, Benjamin. What the fuck? Is yeah, Benjamin thinks that we go home and live in a fucking crack den. He's like, oh wow, these guys. I'll buy them for cheap, forty nine ninety nine. These guys. I'll buy yeah, them for the maybe. price of a used Nintendo Wii. Oh, thanks. Now I can get a fucking PB and J before I go to bed tonight. Thanks. I'm kidding, Benjamin. Thank you for the generous super chat. I'm kidding. We gotta break your balls when you try and flex your wad, though. I'm sorry to tell you, this is a socialist neighborhood, so we're supposed to be free of. Uh... No, I'm kidding. Thank you, Benjamin. But we do have yeah, to get to the story. Benjamin. we Shout might there's a chance we'll get to your fucking uh, uh uh out of charity back to you benjamin there's a chance we'll get to that boss um yusuf uh if it's as good as you say it is we I'll, can we'll let see. it play out who cares we can let it play out okay. wow well, gavin don't bend the knee so early <laughs> jesus christ gavin loves to suck the tea to the rich apparently <laughs> fucking hey we have a reputation to protect over here gosh this is some insight into how the progressive movement keeps getting defeated guys just throw some money at us and you know, oh, oh whatever you say mr money bags um <laughs> no for real though shout out to you benjamin really appreciate the support um jokes aside and yeah i just wanted to play this real quick the based claire daly of ireland speaking some facts despite the catastrophic death toll it has inflicted israel is losing on the ground and in the court of public opinion there's no way that this ends that doesn't leave Israel a pariah state with occupation and apartheid on borrowed time, and they know it. So they're doing everything they can. Desperate acts of aggression to provoke a wider conflict with Lebanon, with Iran, with anybody 
to draw in the U.S., to save them from the consequences of their own actions. And as Yemen shows, Butcher Biden is reporting for duty. With Butcher Europe's Biden. proud genocide by his side, they are the ones who have enabled the continuation of Israeli terror. Without them, it would already be over. So take note, Butcher Biden. The ancestors of the Ireland that you claim to be from disown you. Keep our country out of your mouth. And as for von der Leyen and genocidal Germany with your words and deeds supporting Israel in the ICJ, not in our name. The people of Europe stand with Palestine and with South Africa. Boom. Mic drop. Holy shit. One, people in the chat are pointing out the obvious. Um, I think I'm in, I have every right to at this point um, look back to my own lineage and refer to the Irish as my people. Um, my people are based on this one. Yeah, dude. Just just no notes whatsoever. Um, she does such a great job. And yeah, roping in the Irish stuff, I think always really works uh, for obvious reasons. You know, some people for unfortunate for reasons, you know, they have more solidarity with the Irish than the Palestinians and, you know, kind of linking those conflicts can be really helpful for people that might not know as much about, you know, what's going on in Palestine, if they can kind of see it through those lens or through the lens that they understand. Same reason the South Africa comparison is, you know, really sound, to be quite honest, because at this point, everyone recognizes that, yeah, of course, South Africa was an apartheid state. And of course, Nelson Mandela was not a fucking terrorist. You know, the people that were fighting for liberation, they were terrorists. They were doing the right thing. They were standing up to oppression. And, you know, the same goes with the Irish example. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was wonderful, as always, from Claire Daly. And uh, just butcher Biden couldn't have come up with a better moniker for the president. Yeah, dude, I know it's fucking it's disgraceful. But yeah, something about that Irish accent. It's it's the most it's the most like get your game face on accent that the English language offers. I feel like that's one of the things that I think allowed, you know, uh, obviously we don't stand him anymore. I, uh, Conor McGregor. It's so big. Oh, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking knock it. You know, I just think, man, there's something about that, like, turn of I'll really rouse you up. And again, as you pointed it out, for an unfortunate history, they have some experience with that as well.